at second base, so the Oakland A's take take. Oh, hey, what, we're having an earthquake. Oh my God, we're having an earthquake. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Can you feel that? There go the lights. Oh shit. I'm actually uh, literally standing on the San Andreas Fault, so you can see. So here's one side of the fault. Here's the other side of the fault. The San Andreas Fault, the boundary between two moving tectonic plates, formed between 15 and 20 million years ago. It cuts and carves through 800 miles of western California terrain. It's subtle when looked at from the ground, often appearing as valleys and lakes. It's much more dramatic from the sky. These tectonic plates are little pieces of the Earth's crust that are moving very slowly at the surface of the Earth, and they are in contact, and that contact sometimes unleashes its energy, and that, that is an earthquake. The San Andreas Fault was thrown onto the world stage on April 18, 1906, when a magnitude 8.3 earthquake hit off the coast of San Francisco. Over 3,000 people were killed, and the subsequent fires destroyed 80% of the city. So how often do earthquakes actually happen on the San Andreas Fault? So the big ones um, happen every 150 years on average. This is a very coarse uh, number. However, in the south uh, or here in the central part of the uh, San Andreas Fault, uh, the last earthquake was back in 1857. So we haven't seen an earthquake in, in a long time, and that's why we tend to we usually say you know, it's uh, overdue, it can happen any time. Are we, are we talking like on the scale of what happened there could potentially happen in Los Angeles? The, the magnitude of an earthquake that could happen uh, here in Southern California is comparable to what happened in 1906 uh, up there in, in San Francisco. In one sense, we have learned to build much better than uh, 100 years ago, but on the other hand, we're, we have populated this area much more densely than San Francisco was back in 1906. So the amount of people that are exposed to the threat is enormous. Uh, and this is the case all over the world. With the growth of big cities, uh, the exposure is increasing. Since 1906, the U.S. has developed an earthquake research program that has implemented over a thousand seismographs all over the state of California. So there's no question that science has come a long way. But the ability to predict when and where earthquakes will hit is still nearly impossible. As Southern Californians have lived their lives and not been affected by a sizable earthquake, it's easy to be lulled into a false sense of security. But with a 70% chance of a sizable earthquake happening on the southern tip of the San Andreas Fault in the next 30 years, the time to prepare was yesterday. You, you may survive the earthquake, uh, right, uh, because the, the house will not fall on you, but think about how life will change in the weeks, months, and years after that. Uh, uh, some places after an earthquake uh, are hit so hard that the economy cannot recover quickly. I think step by step we're going to be moving into making this more and more uh, holistic uh, in the sense that we, we need to not only care as individuals and in family uh, scale but also the community scale. Hopefully the, uh, the big one doesn't hit while I'm out here. Or it, it could, and that would make for a great video. So we'll see.